Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering Readability by CS50's Introduction to Computer Science. Before we begin, I'd like to thank you guys for helping me hit the 150 subscriber mark and I'm really grateful for it. Now, let's begin. In the beginning of this problem set, they tell us how to install the files and packages that are required and afterwards, they just share with us a little background on the various methods of calculating the grade for a given text. Uh, and then they give us some examples. And all of this is also covered in the walkthrough by Brian. Apart from that, they also give us a little specification on what we are supposed to do, somewhat like a pseudocode. And then we are given the steps which we can follow in solving this problem set which I'll also be following. So let's begin. I'll just quickly download the files which are given by CS50. All right, so this is the given file. Nothing much in it except for the main function and some header files. So let's begin. These are the specifications. Uh, first and foremost, we are going to get the user input and then calculate the, the letters in a text and then calculate the number of words in a text and then calculate the number of sentences in its text and then putting it all together. So first and foremost, we want to get the user's input. For that, we will be using the getString function. Let me just quickly declare the variable string text text equals to get string text and that's it for now and next step is going to be calculating the number of letters and for that they want us to use a different self-declared function which is a good practice when you're programming because you don't want everything to be cluttered in the main function. And there we go. Uh, we have the function prototype and the function itself at the bottom. So how might we want to go about calculating the number of letters? We could check every single one of the character in this string text. So we'll have to run through using a while loop or a for loop or any loop actually. and check if the character is an alphabet and uh, yeah and for that we can use a function which is given by the ctype.h as they have given a hint here which is checking if a character is an alphabet using the is alpha function so let's quickly include the ctype.h so to loop through every single let every single character in this character array which is the string text we have to find out the, le the length of this string first and foremost. So we have to find, uh, we have to include the string length header, which is gonna be, which is gonna be the string.h header library. So let's uh, end length of string length is going to be string length text awesome now we want to loop through every single character of the string which we'll be using a for loop for int i equals to zero i less than length i plus plus and then we'll be checking if uh, is alpha using this is alpha function let's just check how it's used here so it returns a non, uh, so it returns a non-zero integer if it's an alphabetical and zero if it's not an alphabetical. So if is alpha text i is not equals to zero, so if it's not equals to zero means it's it means it is an alphabetical, and so we can just counter plus plus. So this is just a counter which will be storing the number of letters that we have came across. So we have to declare this counter at the very beginning to zero. So it'll start from zero and it will just continue increasing. So that's about that. And then we could just quickly print out the letters. So uh, percent %i percent %i letters 
is the counter variable and we also have to return the counter variable because it returns an int as you can see and for this function to run we also have to call the in the main function so letters is equals to count letters and we want to pass in the text which is given by the user and we want to also declare this letters okay so it seems like we are done here let's try to compile this using uh, make readability error return counter yep my bad uh, make readability awesome dot slash readability and let's add in our text alice was beginning something 235 letters spectacular we are correct okay moving on to the next step which is finding the number of words in the text and even for this they want us to create a function called count words which is going to be similar to this function declaration just this time around it's going to be words here and moving on to the actual function which is at the bottom of the page and there we go this time around how do we calculate the number of words we can calculate the number of words by checking the number of spaces in the text and for example we have a sentence like this which has five spaces but it has six words so we have to take the number of spaces and add it by one to get a number of words which is also which is also what CS50 wants us to do. So let's try that out. So previously we were checking if uh, it's a, if the return is a non-zero. This time around we'll be checking if the character is a space. Okay, so if the text, now we don't need is alpha anymore. So if the text, uh, the character is a space, Okay, we want to increment the counter by one. And at the very end of this for loop, we want to just increment it one more time because of what I've said earlier. Every time the number of words is one more than the number of spaces. So um, words, and we want to return counter as well. And we want to call this function in the main program words equals to count words and we want to pass in the text great uh yeah, let's just yeah words okay uh, make readability but before that let me just check for my semicolons looks okay dot slash readability and the text before the text let me just add in some backslash n just so that the code is more readable so let's try to just uh, make readability once more uh, and it was a bright cold day in April 55 words spectacular we are correct okay moving on to the next step which is calculating the number of sentences so for this, they also want us to create a function just like we did for the previous two functions. And this time it's going to be called count sentences. And we also pass in the text and it also returns an integer, which is going to be number of sentences. This time around, we will be wanting to check for periods, exclamation marks and question marks and whenever any of this appear we'll be incrementing the counter to add one to the number of sentences that we have found in the text so this time around we'll be checking if there is a period or there is an exclamation mark or there is a question mark okay okay looks good 
and if any of these appear we'll be incrementing one to the counter so just to clarify uh, this is the or operator so it checks if this occurred or this occurred or this occurred okay if any of this occurred in the sentence it will just increment one to the counter and we can just remove this at the end and this is going to be the number of sentences and that's about it let me make readability uh yeah sorry about that it's supposed to be sentences make readability and before that we have to add in one more variable to call this self-declared function and we'll just be passing in the text entered by the user okay so make readability ah uh, yes so you have to declare sentences make readability make readability dot slash readability and this is our text three sentences correct so all this while well, what we have been doing seems to be correct now moving on to the final step which some of you might have problems in which i'll be sharing more later on and even i had an error with this last step okay it's just a small uh, error which uh, it's a hidden error which many of us might not notice but moving on so in this final step we'll be using this formula to calculate the grade of the reader i mean the grade of the text so we have l we have s uh, we have l and we have l s so l is going to be the average number of letters per 100 word so we can take the letters divide by words and multiply it by uh, 100 and for s we can take the sentences divide by words times 100 uh, because s is the average number of sentences per 100 words in a text so you might think that this is enough to get L and S, but I'm telling you, no, it's not enough. And they have given us a hint here. Many of you might have missed out this hint. Here they're saying that if you divide an integer with an integer, it will truncate any decimal places that might appear because you're dividing an integer with an integer. So you can't do that. You have to change one, of, one or two of the values to a float before you use the divide operator so that it does not make the decimals disappear to get a better precision so let's just change the words into float and multiply so let me just repeat what i've said earlier if we don't change words to float for example if it is 10 divided by 3 it will be 3.333 correct but if we don't change it to float, it's going to be just 3 and the 3.333, anything after the decimal places will just be removed. But we don't want it to be removed because we want the value of L and S to be the most accurate. So now we have L and S and it's going to be put into this formula and this index. We want this index to be an integer, okay? Because we want it to be... Uh, grade 2, grade 1, grade 3, grade 5, etc. We don't want it to have any decimal places afterwards. So we have to use another function, which is the round function, which they mentioned here, which is in the math.h header. So include math.h, and here we'll, found, we'll find the round operator, round, round the number to the nearest integer. It rounds the double, into the nearest integer but it still gives out a double but that's fine we can uh we don't have to care if it's a double or not we can just truncate the values okay so let's declare an integer here index and then we need double for l and s okay and uh, we need the round function of course I'm not forgetting the semicolon at the end. And then at the very end, we still have one more step, which is to output grade 16 plus if the index number is more than 16. 
and grade uh, and before grade one if the index number is less than one so we check if index is more than 16 we'll just be printing grade 16 plus uh, else if index less than one we'll just be printing uh, before grade one and um, else is just going to be print f grade whatever is given by the index okay don't forget the semicolons and it seems like we are good to go let me just quickly uh, check it with some of the examples which are given so make readability dot slash readability let's try grade 16 plus if it works grade 16 plus awesome okay yeah yeah let me just put a backslash n and after all of this make readability let's try this grade 10 oh sorry I have to add the root great 10 okay it seems to be perfect let's just remove uh, all these lines which were very helpful in checking if it's correct so far and finally check 50 I have high hopes of this working and yeah we have come to the very end of this video thank you all for coming over and watching it and I hope you have benefited from this video if you liked it hit the like button and smash the subscribe button and if you have any questions regarding this problem set or any other problem set you can just comment down below or message me on discord uh, i've left my discord in the channel description uh, in the channel about section and yeah that's about it yeah so everything works and have a nice day ahead see you guys in the next one